Well, firstly, if you ask anyone to define economy, most wins, some will sigh, almost snap will give you a confident answer. Economics can be defined in multiple ways, yet not in a language that most people can relate to. However, if you break it down, economics represents the most practical concept of our everyday lives that is applied everywhere. Essentially, it is a study of how we use our resources, respond to incentives, and a study of decision-making practices involving topics like wealth and finance, but it's not all about money. By studying the way that people make choices, we can learn to make better choices in the future. Whether we are speaking of economics in Europe and Australia, the basics are the same around the world. However, choices are made based on variable retrospective. In saying that, I believe that adaptability is the ability to adjust to any situation at any given time. Well, the financial planning industry became more well-known in Australia in 1992. And generically, it's misconstrued by the public, placing financial advisors into salesman category. However, over the decades, the industry has experienced significant growth and a new outlook, working towards being a profession. There's an intense focus on improving the availability of quality financial advice within the industry. And in my view, um, the new generation of advisors pays more attention to building a long-lasting relationship with clients, the main purpose of guiding them through their decisions, as opposed to only a transactional relationship. Further, placing more importance on transparency, outcomes and a client interest. Overall, the demographics and culture shifts are increasing the demand for investment services. But to accommodate demand, progress is impossible without change. The change is simply inevitable. I perceive myself as an authentic and a passionate person with a big heart, but a sharp tongue. Um, I think that my directness and genuine curiosity allows me to connect with clients and fully express what some find really hard to hear. I have learned that clients tend to concentrate on one matter only, or things that they do not want to occur in their life, instead of thinking of what they really desire, as they are unable to view the situation from a different perspective, which we all struggle sometimes with, right? But seeing the big picture means seeing the whole having the ability to comprehend the context of the matter, grasp abstract concepts and possibilities, which is my strength. You know, I feel privileged that my clients have the trust in me to open up about the deepest scars they have experienced in life, but as well as the desires and take me on the journey with them. I think that as much as I make difference in their lives, they also make difference in mine, for which I'm really grateful every day. Well, that's a question coming from the heart, isn't it? Well, I love coming to work for multiple reasons. Um, I find my job to be exciting because I feel fortunate to able to contribute to my client's lifestyle while providing a service for them to actually make their life easier so they can concentrate on what really matters to them while developing relationships and sharing my knowledge and expertise. I also find my job challenging sometimes because, you know, we are all unique in our own way. So dealing with different perspectives and different clients' point of views um, certainly keeps me on my toes. However, I believe that we all have the same story. All the details vary and that is what makes us exceptional.